more breaking news this midday. About an hour ago, cheers erupted outside of San Francisco International Airport after thousands of United Airlines flight attendants nationwide voted to authorize a strike. They are asking for a double digit pay increase among other demands. SFO of one of 20 airports across the country where flight attendants set up these informational picket lines this morning. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez is there with the latest on today's vote. Gloria, obviously them authorizing that strike doesn't mean that they're going to strike quite yet. That's right, Julian. Employees cannot just walk off the job tomorrow. The strike would still need to be approved by the National Mediation Board, but this could be a huge bargaining chip to help the flight attendants get what they want. United Airlines flight attendants at San Francisco International are joining others in a picket at airports nationwide. The picket comes as workers announce the results of a strike authorization vote by the Association of Flight Attendants, CWA. We have taken a strike authorization vote with a 99. But this doesn't mean they will go on strike. So it would be at minimum a 30 day period uh, before we would be permitted to strike. Um, United uh, obviously doesn't want that. Flight attendants don't want to have to go on strike. Um, but we will use whatever means are necessary up to and including a strike so that we can propel our negotiations forward. United flight attendants are demanding better pay, pay for all the time they're at work, schedule flexibility and more. There is uh, billions of dollars in revenue and profit at this airline. Flight attendants are only asking for their fair share. Liam Horgan has been a flight attendant for United for just over a year. Making the amount that we do and working the amount of hours that we have away from home and still being unable to make ends meet is entirely upsetting to me and to a lot of flight attendants. United Airlines is sending a statement saying in part, quote, we continue to work toward an industry leading agreement for our flight attendants, including negotiations this week and every month through November. We remain eager to reach an agreement. And this is all happening as Labor Day travel kicks off tomorrow through Tuesday. SFO is expecting a nearly 9% increase in travelers for the holiday weekend over last year. Live at SFO, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News. All right, Gloria, thanks so much.